One of the key elements when starting a sticker business from home is to have a really good software for sticker design and for vectorizing an image and transform it into a clip art that will be more suitable for your sticker machine or vinyl cutter. CorelDRAW is the best software for sticker design. It is compatible with most sticker makers, sticker printing machines, and most vinyl cutters but very few know that you can also design your own stickers using the proper tools and right imagination, of course. The great thing about this software is that if you have a sticker machine and you want to upgrade later, you can still use the same software. Now we will show you how this software has helped us a lot in our sticker business as we have vectorized an image that was originally on 3D and we will transform it into a clip art. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you're new. To make our decals, we're gonna use a regular vinyl, the uh, Oracle 651, which is an outdoor vinyl. And the transfer we'll be using is the Art Tape Clear Choice AT75.1, which is a high tech. We're gonna use our graphic, the small one. And one thing I wanna mention here, usually we use the little wheels that came with our vinyl cutter, but one day it just hit us that we could also use the rollers, which is perfect to apply a transfer on your decals if you don't have extra hands like we do. So this tool is very good to uh, apply the, the transfer, but we're gonna use it with uh, where our graphic. So this tool, we use it a lot with our Cameo 4, as you have seen in previous videos. And this is the very first time that we use it with this vinyl cutter. Um, I guess we're about to find out the difference, but it works great when using the Cameo. And the difference is with the Cameo, you put the vinyl on the front yep. and it pulls it to the back. With this one, it's backwards. You put the vinyl from behind and it pulls it to the front. We're about to find out if it's easier to align it while using our application rollers. Maybe I can pull a little bit. So just to show you guys, this is gonna be a medium sized project. It won't be that long, so. But I think we got it there. Now I'm gonna send it. And let's see how much it moves. I think we got it there. And before we send the design to the cutter, one thing I wanna mention is another tool that's gonna help you uh, with this business, with the sticker business or car decal business is a good software to vectorize, to design and redesign logos because this project right here, I had to use this software to reconstruct and make a design that's more suitable for vinyl cutters. As you know, we do not have a printer, but this customer was okay for us to reconstruct the design suitable for like solid, like vinyl decals or stickers. Yeah, it is very important that you get a good software like Corel Draw. You can get the newest version today is the 2021 or the 2020. Just make sure it's the full version. This is the other software that comes with the vinyl cutter. You don't have to pay extra. It's totally free. You can go to uh, Graphic America and you can download it there. And he's talking about the CM3 or Cutting Master 3. I'm just making sure uh, that we have everything correct, like the cutting force and all that. All right, now we're gonna send the first one and see our rollers are doing a great job so far. No issues, the vinyl is moving the way it's supposed to. Of course, just like usual, we added the weeding boxes as well as the registration marks. One thing I wanna mention, the huge difference between this cutter and the Cameo, which obviously the price, uh, it's a huge, there's a huge difference in pricing, but also the Graphic uh, C6040, you don't have to use a cutting mat like the, the smaller ones, like the Cameo 4 and the Quick Cut. So that's one of the advantages of this vinyl cutter. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way, the blade. Now I can cut it from here. Now it's time to start weeding out. And this is really important that you add those weeding boxes. I will be doing this by myself. And I'm gonna start with this section, which is um, almost half of the decal. And by adding those wooden boxes, you make it a lot easier. We've talked about these a lot in all of our videos, but it's very important that you actually use those. And now I can do the bottom section. And, and notice that Saul put that decal on the side and 
we always recommend that you do that too because if a letter came off you can still save it yeah. just don't okay. fold it like he's doing it right now <laughs> no but i made sure that we got all the letters and uh, everything went well and it was really easy because we use those wooden boxes and the little squares that you see there is the registrations we're gonna use to layer the second color which is the green one but actually we're gonna add the transfer to the white one and uh, it doesn't matter the order because uh, none of the vinyls are gonna be on top of each other so it doesn't matter if you start uh, put the transfer on the green one or the white one but again let me specify it all has to do with the design if the vinyl doesn't go on top of each other then you can do either one if you like to support the RDI team for creating more content, don't forget that we have calculators for pricing stickers and calculators for pricing car decals and also one for pricing t-shirts. And you can join by clicking on the join button below on this video. Just make sure you get the gold membership to use all of them. Or if you just want to use the t-shirt calculator with the silver membership, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Now it's time to start weeding out the green color and I'm going to have some scissors next to me to make it easier. I'm going to cut it probably from here so I can manage it better. Yeah. All right, we're finished with this one too. Now it's time to apply our transfer tape on our decals and I'm going to use the application rollers so I can do it by myself. Now you're about to see the main purpose of the application rollers. We use them mainly for our Cameo 4 vinyl cutter, but you can also use them to apply the transfer. And it's good when you don't have extra hands like we do. So this is the purpose or the reason why we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna use our Art Tape Clear Choice AT 75.1. And this is the way we're gonna do it. Make sure that the tip of the transfer goes under the first row. And I'm having a hard time finding the tip of it, but I think I finally got it. And I secure the decal to the table. As you can see, I use little pieces of tape and about five, six inches away from the, the rollers. And the transfer is a little bit bigger. I think it's like an inch or two inches bigger than the decal itself. That's good because it's gonna give us some room. And also the uh, decal is uh, almost aligned with the transfer. It looks aligned. And now I'm gonna pull it like this. I'm doing it slowly because I don't want to pull too hard, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. All right, I think the, the transfer moved a little bit, but I can always reposition it like that. All right, it looks good about there. And now I can start from the center and send all the tension to the sides. All right, now I'm gonna cut it from here. Uh, making sure I leave extra tape. All right, we already exposed our registration marks. It's time to combine our different layers of vinyl. And this is the reason why we picked the white color because uh, it's the biggest section of our design. Now I'm going to align a registration mark. And as you can see, I secure the bottom layer to the table so it doesn't move around and it makes the alignment a lot easier. I think I'm good about there. Now I'm gonna line this one here, okay? And now I have a piece of tape to, uh, so I can do half of the decal and I'm gonna put it almost in the center. I'm gonna combine it myself. Now I'm going to get the uh, cutting knife. You gotta make sure that you use tape because if I didn't use the tape, our decal will move around and then the layers will not match. And that is very important that you guys pay attention to that. That's why I'm confident that I can do it by myself because I secure both um, layers and I'm going to use the cutting knife like this. And I'm going to do like we usually do, except this is uh, directly to each layer instead of uh, on top of the vehicle. And now I'm going to start from here and I'm going to use the squeegee. Oops, I almost ruined it. And this is the reason why you got to make sure that you have enough transfer and backing paper because you will need it once you combine both colors. And it is perfect because we're working indoor and there's no air or weather affecting the combination here. And it's kind of cold outside. 
but if you sell decals out of state or if you just gonna sell it to our customers because he's gonna do the application this is why it's very important that you learn how to do this And see, we had enough transfer and backing paper so we can give it to the customer, all layers combined, and it's great, perfect. That is why you should not worry about that empty space that you saw on the green one because you got to have room for those letters. The customer already paid for those um, extras. It's not really extras. You need that spot empty. I'm going to remove the registration marks. We do not need them anymore. And then I can trim around the decal so it looks straight. If we can get it straight, it looks it was more professional. Like, yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a sticker with a vinyl cutter. And the tools makes it much easier. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. And remember that you can get all the materials and equipment in the description of the video. We have all the links also on the first comment. If you guys want to support us additionally by joining our gold membership, you will get access to our calculators to price car stickers, t-shirts, and a lot more. Thank you so much for your support. See you guys until the next one.